Hi. So we are on chapter 19 now, just to be a discoverer. And how exciting, like living a life with Jesus in a relationship with God is so exciting. And I believe throughout our lifetime that God wants us to continue to have um, a heart, a mind, a spirit that just wants to discover not only who he is, but who he's created us to be. And we've talked a couple chapters, actually in the beginning of the book, we talked about how a relationship with God is the most important and how being defined by your creator is the most important thing. That relationship through word, through the scripture, through um, prayer, all of that. Just discover who God is and discover who you are. But this is taking it a step further and this is going to be some practical tips that you can have and make a part of your life. Um, I talk about discovering who you are. Um, not just who God says you are and that is amazing. You are a child of God. You are more than able when God is with you. Uh, all of those things are great, but this more is leaning towards what are your personality bents and your interests and things like that. So I have a couple of things that I share with you that have just helped me throughout my lifetime discover um, what I love. Like how has God wired Jamie Klusacek? How has God wired you? How has God wired your children? How has God wired your husband? And what are things in your life that really make you come alive? So the first thing I have is this that can help you. Why don't you start, if you don't know um, what, you're lo what you love, what you're gifted at, um, what you're passionate about, maybe you feel like you're a little bit stumped, but I always start there. What are things that give me life? What are things that I'm passionate about? Um, what are things that I love? Apart from that, start out by asking some close friends. Ask people who um, love God, who are great men or women of integrity. Just ask them, say, hey, I just want you to be honest. What are some things that you see in me that are maybe gifts or talents or abilities that um, you see that maybe I can't? And sometimes just a simple conversation with a friend can confirm some things that are already stirring in your heart that God is doing. And it can um, start to spark inside of you. Yes, this are, these are some things that I've discovered that God has created within me that are just things that bring me life. So ask your friend. Second thing is this. I have my journal right here, so I wrote them down. Second thing is personality tests. Now, um, I'm sure many of you have heard of Myers-Briggs test or the Enneagram. Those are some great tests. Texts. Why am I saying texts? <laughs> Those are some great tests. There we go. Um, that you can use to not say like, um, thus says God's will for my life. This is who I have to be. But those are just some great tests um, to give you some guidelines to where um, maybe this is how God has wired you. Maybe this is how you respond because of this. Maybe um, as I take this test, God, you can really um, unveil some things in my life and how I'm wired and what, what I love to do and what I don't love to do. So personality tests have helped me along the years. Um, some of them I get mad at. I'm like, why, why am I this way? And at my best with that personality, I, it's like amazing. And at my worst with that personality, it is not good. So either way I need God's help, but personality ch tests just help me cultivate an awareness of how I'm wired and maybe some things that God wants to do in me or use me, things that I love. The third thing I say in this chapter and talk about is, I call it, try eating a brownie. Um, I love brownies. I think brownies are like God's gift to us. Brownies, like with chocolate chips in them, and like the corners, which I love just cutting all the corners off, and they're chewy, and ah, I love them. But you know, before I had ever eaten a brownie, I didn't really know what they taste like. I hadn't discovered my love for brownies until I was maybe nine or 10 years old when I had a brownie and all of a sudden this love for brownies just started in my life and I could not quench that love. I think the same is true for us in other areas. 
When we're talking about what we're passionate about, what we're good at, discovering God, how have you specifically wired me? Try new things. If I would have never tried that brownie, I would have never known what I was missing. But once I tasted it, I knew. I, for all my life, will be made to be a brownie eater. So when I want a great treat, I naturally go to brownies. So try something new in your life. I'm not just talking about food. I'm talking about um, volunteering somewhere, um, trying to serve in different areas in your church. Um, try taking a class or something online of something that may interest you. Start, start getting plugged in in different areas and see what really makes you come alive in this season. So try something new. The last thing I talk about is this. After all this discovery, after every test you could take, every person you could ask, every new thing that you could try, the bottom line is this, but then God. I bring in Moses at the end of this chapter, and we talk a little bit about how Moses did not feel qualified to represent God and be his voice piece for a nation. But God says, I have called you, and I will be with you, and I will um, provide everything that you need on this journey. Now, there are moments in life where we might not feel qualified, we might not feel gifted, we might not feel like that's our natural thing to do, but we know that God is saying, I want you to do this and I will be with you. I just want you to know, no matter how much discovery that you do, God always holds the trump card for your life. If he says, do it, do it. And in the meantime, enjoy discovering who God has specifically created you to be. So what are some things you can do this week to start discovering who God has created you to be?